Look, every single guru on YouTube is gonna tell you that if you wanna make money online, you gotta start drop shipping, drop servicing, digital marketing, but they're missing the bigger picture because there's a massive shift happening in the digital economy right now. And frankly, not many people are even talking about it. And it's absolutely crazy because this industry is predicted to grow to $125 billion by 2027. And as we all know, those who adopt new technology first are the ones who are gonna reap the highest rewards. And no, I'm not talking about AI and becoming a prompt engineer. What I'm talking about is no code, which is a movement that is revolutionizing the entire digital landscape by empowering non-technical people like you and me to build the businesses of the future. And in this video, I want to share with you six ways that you can take advantage of this digital revolution, make some serious money from it, and position yourself for success in this rapidly growing economy. These methods can make you anywhere from a hundred thousand to a million dollars a year, but the most beautiful thing about them is that all six of these hustles work in synergy, meaning that you can transition from one to another and increase your earnings exponentially. And this brings us to hustle number one, which is no-code freelancing. You see, no-code has a massive competitive advantage for business owners, making them absolutely love it. The main advantage is being cost efficiency, speed and agility, and technical empowerment. More and more businesses are now waking up to the power of no-code and are wanting to use it within their business to launch their products faster, cut costs on developers, stay ahead of the competition, and automate monotonous tasks. And to do all of that, they need to hire someone. That's exactly where you could come in. By mastering certain no-code tools, you can offer your services as a no-code wizard, helping businesses with all of their no-code needs. Some of the best and most in-demand tools that you can learn are Webflow, Framer, Bubble, Draftbit, and Flutterflow. Becoming a professional within any one of these tools will pretty much guarantee you a decent online income as these tools are in very high demand. For certain needs though, you may need to learn something called a no-code stack, meaning that you might have to learn multiple tools together as they expand onto each other's functionality. There are many different styles out there but some could be like Bubble, Xano and Zapier or WeWeb and Xano or Softer and Airtable. You need to figure out what kind of things you're passionate about building and go from there. Pay for no code freelancers starts at $25 to $30 an hour for complete beginners and the experience you can be making anywhere from $50 to $150 an hour. Assuming you work 40 hours a week you only need to get to about $55 an hour to make low six figures annually. To get started with this, I would choose what you want to specialize in, for example, web apps, mobile apps, databases, or automation, and just start learning. You see, most platforms have a free plan where you can sign up and start playing around with the tool to learn how to use it. And once you're ready, you can upgrade to build some projects on your own for your portfolio and then start selling your services. And if you want to learn more about NoCode tools, then make sure to click the link in the description or head over to nocodeforge.io, which is a curated NoCode tool directory that I built to help you filter out all of the noise and find the best NoCode tools in the market for any needs. Now, once you start getting clients as a freelancer, the next thing that will happen to you is that your own time will become the bottleneck in your business, meaning that you simply don't have enough time to on take new clients to make more money. And that means that if you want to scale and make a higher income, you will need to start an agency. You can start offering your services at bigger scale and hire other experts to be able to work on more complex projects. You can also hire designers to make your apps stand out, hire automation experts and other things of this nature. With this method, you can charge anywhere from $1,000 for very, very simple apps to even 10, 20 or $30,000 for highly, highly complex no code projects. Some examples of agencies are AirDev, Zero Code, and Million Labs. Now, there are many different kind of no code agencies that you can start, but some of the most popular ones would be web app or mobile app agencies, MVP agencies, where you literally help businesses build out their MVP, which is minimum viable product, or automation agencies, where you help businesses set up automations using no code, using tools like Zapier and Make. These automations can be used for email marketing, linking different databases, leveraging APIs and even integrating AI into other people's businesses. All of this can be highly lucrative services to provide as they can help businesses to save a lot of costs and make a lot of money. So if the solution that you provide works, then businesses will be willing to pay a really good amount of money for this. If you don't fancy starting your own agency, another hustle that you can do is start 
no-code consulting. With your experience building and providing no-code solutions, you can instead help firms and different businesses make the right decisions when it comes to no-code. You can guide them on what tools to use, how to automate certain processes, help them outline the right scope for their projects, help them improve the existing products. This hustle does require some previous experience as you do need to know what you're talking about, but it's pretty awesome as anyone with no-code experience can start doing it to increase their revenue. No-code consultants can make anywhere from 60 to $250 an hour. But it doesn't stop there, as with more experience, you can work with bigger clients where your decisions can help them save or make hundreds of thousands of dollars. So in that case, some consultants can actually make a serious living doing just that. If you're an experienced designer or you run a no-code dev agency, you can actually make some serious money with no-code templates or developing plugins. Bubble.io, for example, has its own economy within its app that allows users to build and distribute templates to other users, making it very easy for people to make money by building things. And that is pretty awesome because it's essentially passive income. You can build a template once and let Bubble take care of the sales. So this is what the Bubble marketplace looks like. So people can purchase templates from here and then use it to build their first app much quicker. There's also all these like different frameworks that you can basically use to speed up your process and literally like entire apps where you could just change the branding, change the style, like enter your own data and start running your own business. So this one has been installed 368 times and it's sold for $300. So you could do the maths. <laughs> They made quite good money on this one. And the gist here is that for every template that you sell, Bubble gets to keep 25%. So here, for example, if it sells for $30, Bubble gets to keep about $7. So you get to keep 23 and then Bubble gets seven. But that's pretty nice because they do the marketing for you and they simplify the process for the customer to templates. So basically you just need to make the template, put it out there and <laughs> I guess hope that it sells. I'm sure that you can also promote it on your Twitter or you to your social network. And there are many other tools that allow you to build and sell templates. Some of the ones that I know are Webflow and Framer. These will be perfect for designers or web designers. But if you're more technical, I would stick to bubble templates. And if you have coding experience or have someone on your agency team that does know how to code, you can start developing plugins for no code tools. Zero Code, for example, has over 530 plugins available. The sum of them going for five to 10 or $20 a month. I am sure that they're making high six or even seven figures annually from this. This plugin, for example, costs $20 a month and has 22,000 installs. So let's just assume that 2,000 of these installs are active users. That's $40,000 a month or $480,000 a year just from one plugin. Now, plugins can be a bit risky as you're solely relying on the third party platform to make your income. And if your plugin is very successful and the platform decides to make it just a basic feature within an app, your income stream can just get cut off. But if you don't put all your eggs in one basket and diversify your efforts, it can be a very lucrative business. Number five is building and selling no-code apps. Just like you sell templates and plugins, you can also build out entire full-stack apps and then sell them. Yes, there is an entire economy for this. To sell your app, you can do it on a website like tinyacquisitions.com. So you can go over to this website to get some ideas for the kind of apps that you can build and the kind of apps that have already been sold. So let's go over to search. Here on the left side, we can sort by sold, click apply, and in categories, we can choose bubble or supply. It will show us the different tools that have been sold and that are built on Bubble. This one is going for $4,000 to $12,000, $9,000, $5,000, $500, $500, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, $60,000, $70,000, $80,000, $90,000, $100,000, $200,000, $300,000, $400,000, $500,000, $600,000, $700,
mow it and that puts a lot of bottlenecks in your business because there's only so many places that you can go to or, and you have all this physical equipment but in SaaS your product doesn't have this problem and it has infinite leverage as you can build your product once and then sell it to as many people as you want and because it's a digital product you have very high profit margins usually as high as 80 to 90 percent even at scale meaning that if your SaaS is generating around two hundred thousand dollars a year in revenue you get to keep anywhere from 160 to 180 thousand dollars in profit and SaaS businesses have crazy exit multipliers usually they are within the range of three to six x of your yearly profits or sometimes even revenue so if you build a $200,000 a year business, you can sell it for 600 or even 1.2 million dollars. Building your own SaaS is the most lucrative method in this video and is the reason why it's last because it requires the most work, it's the highest risk and you actually need some experience in the field to pull it off. You see the most important thing in the SaaS business is the product and the product needs to solve a real problem. Someone who's never made any money online and doesn't have any experience in other fields will not be able to find a problem to solve in the first place. But if you have experience building different no-code solutions or you're an expert in a specific niche like let's say real estate you can use that experience to identify a problem that's worth solving and build a SaaS around it in few years ago this would have been completely impossible to pull off as a non-technical founder or it would require you to have some serious bankroll to fund your idea but now that the power of no code tools like bubble flutter draftbit and weweb you can build full stack no code apps without writing any code and if you have experience freelancing no code tools have a no-code agency or have experience building and selling no-code apps then this is the final evolution for your no-code journey as when you get an idea you can quickly whip up an mvp using your no-code experience test the market and if you have product market fit you can build out your tool and scale from there and if you want to know what are the best no-code tools in the market then click the video on the screen now